تذكرين فيلم تندر تندر سويندلر شفتيه يا سيها المحتل يستهدف البنات المحتل صح؟ يستهدف إيه؟ البنات طبعا موجود هو على نتفليكس إيه؟ وطبعا هو مخادع والصبايا اللي خدعوهم خدعهم هو سيسيليا وكمان صبيتين إيه؟ طبعا كانوا معنا في كرميلا ايضا كانوا معنا في صباح العربيه ببعض التفاصيل الخاصه بعمليه الاحتيال ايش رايك انا بدي اقول شغله أي. انا طبعا اثار غضبي هذا الشخص بطريقه مش طبيعيه لانه كل عمليه الاحتيال اللي عملها وبالاخر رجع على هو اسرائيلي على فكره أه. رجع على اسرائيل وعايش حياته بكل طبيعيه ويمكن عماله بمارس عمليات الاحتيال هاي بس كمان البنات اثاروا غضبي بصراحه وانا مش قادره اسكت عن هذا الموضوع <تصفيق> آه معلش خليني احكي لانه كان واضح قديش هن انبهروا بمظاهر الثراء الكاذبه بعدين اكتشفوا آه. لانه في حدا بتعرف على شخص باي ثقافه ولا باي بلد بتعرفي على شخص الصبح وبالليل بتروحي بتسافري معه بطيارته الخاصه آه بطيارته الخاصه على بلد ثانيه هم عم يبرروا نفسهم طيب خلينا نسمع زميلة سمر المشطة يعني نسمع من زميلة سمر المشطة عندها الجواب لأسئلة خلينا نشوف نشوف I think I'd learned a lot. I think I learned a lot how the society works in general. I think I, I mean, we come from the Nordic countries. We have a lot of trust, you know, with law enforcement and politics and everything in general. I think I've lost that a bit, but we learned so much, really. And I think that this has been a life experience. And I think we're still living and we're still learning from every day something new. And yeah. Yeah, God, like you change as as a person, yeah. you have to, because this is it is soul destroying to yeah, care and love about someone. And suddenly you are your entire life is is no more or the life you had to rebuild your life. Yeah. After all uh, this uh, traumatizing uh, experience, are you in love again? Are you capable of falling in love again? I am not in love again. <laughs> It has been difficult. Sometimes I think that I I haven't been scarred by this, but I think maybe that I haven't been that deep in love again shows that it has done something to me. But I'm still searching. Uh, as I said, like I said in a documentary, like I'm still trying to find it. So yeah, we'll see. So Cecilia, do you think that the movie Tinder Swindler, the title of the movie, it felt like it gave some kind of an upper hand to actually uh, to Simon? Uh, do you think the movie did you uh, justice? I think the movie is helping us to get justice or coming closer to justice. But yeah, naming it and branding it the Tinder Swindler is setting kind of that this is a man who is only on Tinder and maybe just online scamming and only women. And we know that this case is huge. It's companies, it's men, yeah. I mean, like men don't really want to come forward now, like saying, hey, I got it defrauded by the Tinder swindler. Uh, so I think by naming the story that, like, it didn't really look good because there are a lot of companies who have gotten defrauded by him as well and a lot of men. So I think the name of the article from the beginning and the movie is quite sad. Given the fact that uh, the movie actually was a huge success and a lot of people are asking, have you been paid for uh, this uh, movie? Has uh, at least any of or a percentage of your uh, debt was uh, paid because of the movie? Given the fact also that actually documentaries, they don't pay much. Oh, oh no. Like, as you said, like documentaries are not paid well. And like what we have been in depth and what we are owing is just too much and yeah yeah but we did give help uh, after the documentary movie was released we there were a lot of fraud <laughs> going on on GoFundMe people were claiming to be us and people were doing all these like fraud raisements so they actually put us a recommendation to start one up so they can close them down so we started up a GoFundMe and we didn't expect that but we were very very happy with the help that we got so a third of all of our like depths and everything have been covered due to that so we are super grateful for everyone who helped out with that GoFundMe. It was like a it was a proper crowdfunding as we can yeah. say it was like it was so nice to see all over the world people like oh I need to wait for my paycheck which we didn't want but it's just to see the kindness of people all over the world was really heartwarming and it has helped us we're not totally done yet but but nothing from from Netflix. <laughs> May I ask how much debt do you still have? Uh, since I'm bankrupt and I haven't paid any of the debts and I have high interest loans, it's over $300,000 now, but I am getting help to negotiate and hopefully with the GoFundMe be rid of it, but yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm still managing with my uh, lawyer fees, so I don't really know what I'm going to end up with in the end, but uh, I would say that I maybe still have 40000 still in debt, 
but I am working and I'm uh, starting to pay it off. So hopefully I will get there. It's my actually my goal for the end of the year to be uh, <laughs> be away from those yeah. steps. Uh, yeah. <laughs>